To turn the shower on or off, press the temperature control dial once. This is the upper control dial on the dual outlet shower. When turned on, the light ring around the dial will illuminate and flash white until the water reaches the set temperature. It will then stop flashing and illuminate continuously. If you've fitted a remote control button, press it once to turn the shower on or off. Once pressed, it'll illuminate in the same way as the temperature control dial. To increase the water temperature, turn the temperature control dial clockwise. Once you've turned the dial, the light ring will flash red until the new temperature has been reached. It will then stop flashing and illuminate white continuously. If you'd like to turn down the water temperature, turn the control dial anti-clockwise. Once you've turned the dial, the light ring will flash blue until the new temperature has been reached. It will then stop flashing and illuminate white continuously. On the dual outlet shower, you can also adjust the water flow rate. Simply turn the lower flow control dial anti-clockwise to decrease the flow and clockwise to increase. You can also adjust the water flow rate of the shower on the dual outlet bath shower, but the flow rate from the bath will always be set to maximum. Just check the water is flowing from the shower outlet and then follow the same steps as for the dual outlet shower. If you're using the low pressure single outlet shower, you can choose a lower flow rate by changing it to eco mode. To do this, press and hold the control dial for one and a half seconds. To divert the flow from the master outlet to the secondary outlet on the dual outlet models, press the lower flow control dial once. The light around the dial will blink twice to let you know the flow has switched. On the dual outlet shower, you can also run both outlets at once. Just press the dial again after you've diverted the flow. If you've installed a remote control, you can use this to divert the flow on dual outlet models too. Just press and hold the remote button for one and a half seconds. To activate cleaning mode, when the system is off, set the temperature control dial to roughly mid-blend and then hold the dial for five seconds. The controls will then lock for one minute. The light rings on the control dials and the remote control if fitted will illuminate white while locked. You can also activate cleaning mode using the remote control. To do so, press and hold the remote button for five seconds when the system is off. Our digital showers have been designed for easy maintenance. To remove the inlet clips, use a flat blade screwdriver to rotate the isolation valves on the hot and cold inlets to closed, and then disconnect the power to the digital processor. There will be some residual water between the isolation valves and the check valves, and this will drain out of the inlets as you remove them. Use a pair of pliers to remove inlet filters, then clean them carefully. Reassemble the inlet filters as shown. Place back the inlets and the securing clips. Finally, rotate the isolation valves back into the open position. Turn on the power and switch on the shower to check for any leaks.